Hi everyone, this is Amy and today I'm going to be showing you how I use medium.com to promote my blogs and get more traffic to my website. So medium.com is um, a ready-made blogging platform and one of the advantages of using medium is that it will give you um, a backlink. Now these backlinks are now follow but still they're valuable. You're supposed to have a mix between do follow and no follow for Google to see a natural backlink profile anyway. But one of the great things about medium.com is that it recommends things. So I've just logged into my Medium account here and you can see stuff popping up about relationships, um, things that are trending. So if you if you get a blog that's trending, um, you're gonna hit a big audience, basically. And they send out emails as well. They do email marketing with the top um, articles. So again, that's another way to reach more people. One other thing to say about Medium, I've got quite a lot of blogs on here. Um, they're actually stories. So when you log in your account, you'll go, if you go to stories, this is where you publish. If I look at my published stories, I've got 241. And these, a lot of these have actually pulled in traffic from Google for me before my own blog has started to rank. In other words, my blog has ranked quicker on medium.com than it has on my own lower domain authority website. That's especially the case if your website is quite new or it's quite a low domain or authority website. So if I just pop into my analytics now, I, I want to show you what I mean about how much traffic you can actually get from Medium. Um, this is my dog blog here. So if I just go into acquisition and I'm gonna go to all traffic and source Medium. So this is looking at the sources of my traffic, where my traffic is coming from on Google Analytics. And when this loads up, you'll probably see that it does actually generate quite a lot for me. Do you see here, so my SEO is working, my, my biggest uh, percentage of traffic, my top um, traffic source is Google, then direct, so people who've got the link to click on, and Medium is actually third, I'm bringing in quite a fair bit. This is within the last week. I'll show you. I'll just show you the last month as well. Sorry, I need to click up here. So if I show you the last 30 days of traffic, for example, nearly 10% of my traffic for the dog blog is coming from Medium. So that's quite a good traffic source. And of course, there's the backlinks in there as well. The other great thing about using Medium is that you are allowed to do duplicate content because it's not a website um, as such, it's like a, pro a blog promotion platform, you are allowed to import your stories. And what I want to do is import all of my stories from my, my dog blog, all of my blogs from my dog blog, um, from this date onwards. So I've basically been uploading them quite frequently, and I got up to the 3rd of August. So what I want to do is find the blog um, that was published just after the 3rd of August, and I want to import that. And one way I can do that is if I look here, um, I'm in my, the back end here of my WordPress, and I'm looking for the blog that was published after the 3rd of August. So Doggy Daycare, I've done that one. The next one that I need to pull through onto Medium is this Wolf and Brew. So if I open Patterdale Terriers, and what I'm gonna do now is search for the Woof and Brew article. It's all about dog beer. <laughs> Don't worry, it's uh, not alcoholic. So here we go, Woof and Brew, beer and Prosecco for dogs. That's the article that I want to import. So I click on that, I copy the URL, I go to Medium and I click on Stories and then I click Import Story. I then paste my URL there and I click import. This should pull it through automatically for me. Um, you see it's doing it and it's just asking you to reformat your images and check everything. 
I removed the disclaimer because um, this is more the purpose of this is more to send traffic to my blog rather than to sell products yeah so and then what I need to do is I need to do a little bit of editing because can you see it's kind of shifted things a little bit and it's also missed out images and that could do with being a title that could do with being a small title so you've got headings and subheadings just like what you've got on WordPress basically your poor seco needs a subheading you see these you've got automatic backlinks there do you see and like I say they're now follow but that's okay what I always want to do um, when I do these is I want to make sure there's a backlink on the keyword so if I go back into the back office and I'll go back to WordPress and then go on to Woof and Brew Woof and Brew is actually my keyword and remember I've done all the keyword research before publishing these blogs so that I know there's a high search volume for them and I know that the competition is relatively easy so by going into that and I can check here if I just click on Yoast I'm on the latest version of WordPress by the way if I click on Yoast I can see that Woof and Brew is what I want the backlink on so I'm going to take the URL again and I'm going to make sure that in the first paragraph I highlight the keyword and I add a proper backlink on that keyword yeah then what I want to do is check it for images sadly my images haven't pulled through sometimes they will sometimes they won't so if my images haven't pulled through I need to go into my blogging folder for the dog blog um, Patterdale Terriers here and I need to go into all of my images there he is barking away <laughs> somewhere here in products I'll have some nice woof and, and brew pictures yeah so I've got a woof and brew and I'll use the JPEG there yeah so now I've got my featured image and a little bit further down I had um, a nice tea so I'll use dog tea as well Um, always remember to check the copyright make sure you've got permission to use and I'll add this one so this is the dog T and this is Woof and Brew Beer and Prosecco for dogs I'm just using the um, the same keywords that are on my article so now I have edited the article I have added a couple of images that didn't pull through and I've added a backlink and now I can publish but what I want to do before I publish is add a load of tags to make it searchable so I'll add dogs <laughs> maybe dog food maybe pets pets and animals I'm making sure here that I'm adding ones with quite high following because people follow by tag or category um, and maybe I'll have animals yeah so I've got one two three four five you can have up to five so I make sure you use all five always tick this box me to my story so it's eligible to earn money because if you set up as a medium partner you can also earn money if I get lots of clicks on this now you can schedule what I usually do is I publish maybe two or three a day but once I get to more than that I schedule them in for the next day because I think more than three um, it's a little bit too much and it might look unnatural okay so I'm going to publish that now publishing story it should show me what it looks like and there it is okay um, I'm claiming my URL it's just my name amytrumpeter.medium.com I've got so if I click on Woof and Brew 
read them all. And there you go, I've got my nice article there, I've got my bio down the side, and I've got backlinks in this. Yeah? My images. And that is now going to start ranking in Medium, or it could get pulled um, by Medium as a popular blog post, and it could get promoted by them, and that's now going to bring me traffic. The goal for me is every blog I publish on my personal blogs, I'm going to also publish it on here as well um, to drum up the traffic. So that's how you use medium.com to get more traffic to your blog and to get no follow back links. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on my um, video below. Thank you so much. Bye.